Hi everyone, Stacy Whiter here on behalf of Campus Mortgage with a three-part video series on an introduction to Fannie Mae's new manufactured housing program. Now just a quick reminder before we get started, this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered legal advice or used in place of Fannie Mae guidelines. Also, this video was issued on June 12, 2018 and the information contained in this video is subject to change without notice. Fannie Mae's new program is called the MH Advantage Properties. Now, this new initiative is for manufactured housing that is designed to meet specific construction, architectural design, and energy efficient standards that are more consistent with site built homes. So, in other word, words, for a property to meet the requirements of Fannie Mae's MH Advantage program or properties, they need to be more like a site built home. And we'll get into those requirements in just a second. But first, let's talk about the goal of their initiative. The goal for them, for Fannie Mae, was to help bridge the gap in affordable housing by encouraging more homeowners to consider manufacturing home, manufactured homes as an alternative to site built homes. Now let's talk about what Fannie Mae means. What are the characteristics that they're looking for for a property to meet these standards? Well, examples of the physical characteristics would be specific architectural and aesthetic features. So these would be things like a property built with a distinctive roof treatment. So eaves and higher pitch roof lines. Typically on a manufactured home, it's usually pretty much just a straight across um, roof line with very little pitch. For this, it would have more of a site built type appearance as far as the roofing. Also, lower profile foundation. A lot of times for manufactured housing, they may be on, you know, cement blocks or something like this. For it to meet this program, it needs to have more of that foundation that looks more like a site built home. Also, garages, carports, porches, and dormers. So these are examples of some characteristics of manufactured homes that would meet these requirements. Also, construction elements including durability features, so um, using more durable siding materials, so using maybe a thicker siding uh, than compared to a standard mag manufactured home, and also meeting energy efficient standards. So these are some physical characteristics of an MH Advantage property. Now let's take a look at the benefits of this. So the image advantage properties are given more flexibility when it comes to underwriting and uh, requirements, and they're more flexible uh, than a standard manufactured housing. So they will receive higher LTV so they can go higher. The borrower can borrow more, borrow more. They have also, which is a big one, access to standard mortgage insurance. So under this program, a borrower can get uh, standard mortgage insurance rates just like they would if they were buying a site-built home, which is a huge advantage. Also, reduce loan level price adjustments. So what that means is typically the rates are going to be higher for a standard manufactured home because they're considered more risky. For the MH Advantage property, the borrower is not going to get those higher priced rates or those loan level adjustments because, again, the home is a higher standard. When it comes to participation, so um, this program is open to all manufactured home manufacturers, but there has to be an agreement in place between them and Fannie Mae, which means that ultimately the builder, the manufactured home builder is going to have to agree to meeting certain standards. If they do, then they'll have the ability to put the Fannie Mae MH Advantage sticker on the home next to the HUD tag. And as you can see here, um, if you read this very quickly, it says the manufacturer of this home identifies um, on its HUD certificate has determined that it features as as of the date of manufacture are consistent with the eligibility requirements for MH Advantage. So again, this is just an additional sticker that the manufacturer can put on the home to say that, hey, it meets those Fannie Mae requirements. Now, um, when it comes to this sticker, so the sticker is going to identify the home as having been designated 
to accommodate the physical characteristics, which again are going to be a higher standard than what would be on our traditional manufactured home. So this sticker would identify and also the lender is not responsible for conf confirming the physical characteristics of the home. So the lender can rest assured if this sticker is present in the manufactured home, then it meets all the Fannie Mae requirements. All right, so that concludes part one of this three-part series, Introduction to Fannie Mae's New MH Advantage Properties. Thank you so much for watching. For more tips and videos, please visit campusmortgage.org to look for their weekly mortgage video tips designed for all mortgage professionals, including underwriters, loan officers, processors, closers, and post-closers. We'll see you next time.